Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about um, the Big Ben that I'm going to be making. So I uh, briefly talked about this in the My Experience video where I was showing you how to make these bead sticks. Um, so if you haven't watched that, I'll, def I'll definitely um, recommend that you go and watch that because it does explain um, all about how to make bead sticks. And here's lots of other stuff about bead sticks, which um are really helpful if you want to try make a project similar to what i'm making so today i'm going to try and give you a view of how big it's going to go it's going to be what the size of it is going to be and how it's going to look when it's finished so to give you a brief overview of how big each of these bead sticks are each bead stick here equals 5 cm each of these big bead sticks here this small bead stick here is 2.5 cm so that actually gives you a better um, view of how big they are um, now something else to bear in mind with the bottom of each of these bead sticks with the actual bead going across that way they equal 0.5 cm each or that is 50 millimeters. No, not 50 millimeters, 5 millimeters. Like uh, yeah, so 5 millimeters. So they are quite small at the bottom. Um, but we don't we don't plan to be a massive structure going outwards. Um, but it'll be be fairly big going outwards. So so this bottom bit here, this bit here, that is going to be 50 bead sticks long, 50. Which then adds up to a total of 25 centimetres, you can see it there, 25 centimetres. And um, it's also this bead stick, so these are only singular bead sticks going upwards so going upwards it's only going to be 10 no, 5 centimeters so it's going to be these bead sticks going upwards now the color of bead sticks that we're going to be using uh, so the color of bead sticks we're going to be using are these black bead sticks these ones we're going to be using for the bottom of our big bend um so moving up we have these little square kind of areas here, rectangle areas here. Now, these, I'd just like to mention, is this is based off this big bend here. So those areas, like that area I just covered in, they're part of the bare beads. So this is just the two faces, two faces, so there's no this face and this face, because you can only see two of them here. But the actual thing will be double this. The bees I tell you um, on this will be double the extra thing. So in total, this bottom bit here, so this just this bit of bottom equals that'll be 500 beads because it's 50 10 bead sticks, and then so this whole area here will be a thousand. Yes, the whole area there will be a thousand beads, and then the whole thing all the way around will be two thousand beads. And that's just this tiny little bit here. So moving up. Now each one of these um, areas here will be twelve cm long. So that'll be, which is twenty four bead sticks long. Each one will be twenty four bead sticks long so each is between twenty four bead sticks long and um, um, they'll all be 5cm up as well which means in total uh, going up because that bit is 45cm so 45cm see there we add the five from this bottom bit here. We are currently at 50 centimeters in 
height. So, moving on to the next bit. And so, these bits here, these layers here, will be um, so like this. There'll be 12 across, so as you can see, you have uh, one of these bead sticks, and then three of these bead sticks. So, one, two, three, four, and then be two of these. Five, six, another three, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then there's these two on the side here, which will be another one of these. And the side makes it twelve. So that's how it would be. And so these, there'll be a really long strip going up the side of these. Of these type, there'll be a really long strip going up the side of the big bin. Okay. So that's what we're going to be moving on to is the clock face area which is oops, which is this area on the big bend okay so this area will be about um six bead sticks high sticks high and 30 across so it's going to be quite a big section of this clock face but this clock face will also include the clocks and um, lots of these go down the sides um, which will be these brown ones around the surrounding clock face and um clock faces i will actually make on a heavy board and i'll then um glue in using um craft glue into the big bend now um another video that i'm doing in the future is where i review all the different craft glues and tell you which one is the best what they're trying to do um and it'll be really helpful if you're trying to make because then you'll be able to know which glues are best to use. So, moving on to this next area here. So, from this bit here to up here, this area. Now, that'll be two B sticks tall. Sticks tall. And that will be um, five bead sticks across. So it equals five bead sticks. And so that'll be um, equals fifteen bead sticks across. at the Big Ben is going to be four bead sticks tall four bead sticks tall sticks tall and only two bead sticks across so very tall and thin now, we've got this bit, this whole area here is 30cm, add to our 50cm, we have 80cm tall. Now, this whole top area here will be another 30cm, so if we add that to our 80, 120cm. So our Big Ben is going to be 120cm tall, which is going to be really massive, so this whole thing here, 120 cm. So that is 1.2 meters. Meters. 
and um, the average adult height is 1.6 meters. Well, actually, no, not the average. The average is about 1.4 meters. 1.6 is even really tall. So the average is about 1.4 meters. So 20 centimeters off being as tall as the height of your parent. It's gonna be really big. So if you go to your parents, you're like, you're quite tall. Measure 20 centimeters. Put 20 centimeters under them. Take that off of them, and that's how tall Big Ben would be. So be a really impressive and massive structure okay um so that's all for today's videos um i'll see you next time bye